Do you ever think about the steps you have taken? And what it was that led you here? What makes you write? What is the substance of your stories? Is it experience? Is it a person? Is it a place? For me, it is home. I grew up on this extraordinary continent. Her soil is living. Her shores are vast. Shores that bound and breathe life into all of us here. She is the cradle of mankind. This is why I wrote A Girl from Harare. And this is how. Process is important. The process of being inspired, of writing, and taking it to the studio. I wanted to write this project in total immersion, with every day bringing constant change and experience. So, I decided to put my studio into a Land Rover and drive across the continent. I was getting into the rhythm of the journey, packing up and moving almost daily, waking up in new environments. I was writing music everywhere. I would set up a microphone to record sounds and voices and lay down ideas. I spent my days learning from the places I was visiting to the people I was meeting, the sounds, the food, the space. This is the story of how I drove for almost two years across the continent, living on the road and writing. Music for me started back at home, Zimbabwe. There is something so deep rooted in the place that you grow up. I think that's undeniable. And for me, that was Harare. Like Gemma is as Zimbabwean as they come, <laughs> as I am Kenyan as I come, you know. Um, um, she, she's, she's just inherently from the land. She's a child of of the land and um, she's amazing, she's an African. I grew up a couple of blocks down from the city center and started singing from a very young age. Going to school in Harare was where I learned to play. Yeah, my, my gran was a concert pianist. Her dad was a piano tuner. And so we always had pianos in the house, we always had um, instruments and the opportunities to learn. Um, and my mom also was incredibly musical. And this is where music started for me. <laughs> Music is everything. It is reflection, it is praise, it is social commentary. It's something that connects us. And this connection is where it all starts.
When you start building a track, you never fully know where it's going to lead. This is my favorite part, watching the track unfold. Garden for the first time with Gemma. Hey, it was it was something else because the auditorium was full, and I, I I could hardly hear myself. All I could hear were the people singing along to the music, and and it I had good goosebumps. Her vocals to me were angelic. You know, it, it were different from everybody else I've, I've I've actually worked with. Exploring mixing dance hall and and soul. Um, I think a lot of my journey was born, and I owe so much of my journey to, to Zim Dance Hall, to the influences that it had. And, um, you know, as a white woman coming into the industry, there's been so much um, privilege that has come with my, come with my race, and, um, and to then stand back and, and, and watch how everything that I owe, you know, is, is to Zim music culture, to black music culture, um, and to Zim Dance Hall. Um, and to this city, to Harare, where so much of it is born. The Zimbabwe music industry is a very different place. The variety of genres are a sort of a melting pot, but they tend to steer a certain direction. So for somebody to be as distinctive as Gemma, you have to be really bold and in tune with the kind of music you want to make, not just for Zimbabwe, but for the world as well. My process of recording passed through a network of studios and setups. The music traveled from studios at home, like Chill Spot, that is known for Zim Dance Hall, to makeshift studio setups along the road, like the back of the car and hotel cupboards. I then sent the music across to people who had been vital to the journey from abroad, like my mentor and friend Tapanaswa and Charlie Kay, who helped pull it all together. From, an, from a musical perspective, she has so many influences. She has the soul side, then you you come to the African side, you know. She, she, she's a girl from Africa by default, so she has a lot of rhythm in her. So sometimes the fusion of that is just amazing. So it's amazing to work with her. There is a saying, Kuzivambuya huudzwa. All you know, you were taught. My story is an extension of this. A Girl from Harare is the project I made on the road. It was written and recorded in 10 countries across the continent. It is a collection of experiences, emotions and stories I lived along the way, as well as a celebration of the lessons I carried with me from my home, Zimbabwe. I don't know where I'm sleeping, city's got me good. I'd give it all for peeping round the neighborhood. I don't care if I waste Years and decades away For flashing lights and late nights Where I'm understood And yeah, it's true I'm losing my days to the city Losing my nights to it too And walking through Blue lights at night are looking pretty it's steps you have taken and what it was 
that led you here?